Oh, you want to yawn? You want to yawn? Say morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel and to a, another vloggy vlog vlog. It is officially, officially, officially winter. And it is officially time to switch up the ponios and the pussy cats <laughs> routine. So, oh, we're slipping. That doesn't normally slip down. What happened there? Welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. Not gonna lie, it's taken a lot for me to pick up my camera this week. Haven't felt like vlogging, but do want to. Um, yeah, I do want to. It's just weird. It's such a weird. If you follow me on the gram and you see my stories, you'll know that. Oh, I don't even want to go through it. I just, yeah, I just haven't been feeling myself. Um, mainly hormones, nothing drastic, but just they've proper zapped me this month. Anyway, I've picked up the camera. Actually, I haven't picked up the camera. The camera is not my comfort blanket. I've picked up my phone. I've gone, Tina, just use your phone like you used to, and then it'll feel more comfortable. Weird, weird feeling. Um, can't explain it very well because I've vlogged for like four years now. And for some reason, I've just got proper stage fright at the minute. And it's, I don't like it. I don't like it. But it's why I'm making myself get on and do it today. So I thought I would film our winter routine now that the horses are in by night, out by day. Um, they have been for just over a week now, haven't you babies? We have indeed, and I keep wanting to film it and I keep putting it off. <laughs> He's so grumpy, He says, get my breakfast, mum. Why is it taking you so long to get my breakfast? Anyway, I'd love to say it's bright and early. It's not that early, it's quarter to eight. I do try to get out here normally between seven and 7.30, but today's Saturday, it's not a weekday, um, and yeah. He looks like he's had a nice snooze anyway, don't you? Look, easy bed on you, easy bed on your rug. And hopefully I'm about to show, show you how lucky I am because my pony is super, super clean in his stable. So he does make my job pretty easy. Although, like I said, he has been in ever so slightly longer than he normally would. One, two, three, four poos. There, that's what I have to contend with. Not a chore at all, and I always like to see hay left in the morning. That's good. It means I've given him enough haylage, I should say, the lovely Silvermore. Right, anyway, crack on with the routine, Tina. At least I've managed to talk. Not giving myself much credibility as a vlogger here, am I? But yeah, just a strange old 10 days. But let's get these ponios their breakfast and crack on with our winter routine, because I'm sure lots of you will be just about to change your ponios to it now too all right reg reg has decided he is absolutely besotted with banks at the moment haven't you everywhere he is you want to be and banks he loves him back don't you he actually jumped onto your back again yesterday didn't he banks hey Mwah. right bracky time stop talking to you now started i can't stop quick little oc update whilst we're here though here she is and Reggie is now already bigger than her. Oh, okay, breakfast is needed. He's being demanding. Yes, I am. I'm hungry, Mum. So, for breakfast, we have Scoopy Scoopy. I don't know why I didn't scoop that up. I'm not just use my hand. A couple of scoops of chaff. Thunderbrook's healthy herbal chaff, I will add. A scoopy Scoopy Lou. I don't know why I've left it in the bag either. Oh. Blue Chip Dynamic Bone and Joint Supplement. Over here for a Scoopy Scoopy Doo a balancer, which I need to put a refill bag in of. Oh, I can't do this one handed. Getting low. There we go. And then little legs. Oh, he has a scoop of his too. But I say a scoop. He has a low calorie and he has about a third of a scoop. Squish of this for Banks, getting low on that too. Respiratory boost. Splash of water. Actually quite a lot, not just a splash. I like it to be nice and wet. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Is that? And there we go. One happy chappy. Right, rug change for you. Mm, come on, you. Come 
on it like about these trainers the laces undo so easily apparently it's because they're round so I've changed for you oh I left them on last night badly <laughs> reality you are oh yeah and this is part of our routine reggie then comes in and goes to the toilet in banksy's stable before i muck out yeah they're banksy's it's his stable by the way <laughs> right then it's a race against time to get banksy out before dinks oh well done you've pretty much finished i normally take it out with me that shows how slow i've been being come on race against time to get banksy out before dinks realizes his stuff's all gone isn't it He's still munching. He's still munching. Oh, I did make it nice and sloppy for you, boo. There we go. And then we realised quite how much rain we've had. Oh, he says, <laughs> this is not what happens, boys, is it? Oh, okay, it is, it is, it is. The jinx will now come and see if there's anything left in here. Oh, you forgot there might be a bit left in there now, have you? All right, boys. Okay, I went on to say it's then time to feed the cats. <laughs> Oh, I thought I had something on my face then, but it's on the phone. Um, but yeah, I made the fatal mistake of sitting down in the cat room. We put a chair in here a few weeks back and oh my goodness, it makes me just flopping it. And Reg decided to flopping it with me and mummy went back to bed. I thought you'd be wanting breakfast, babies. And if you're thinking, why is there only two, not three, Tina? That is because Puss Puss is still in bed with Robbo, which is where I was meant to be heading back to. But you look far too content for me to move. Oh, I haven't got a bra on. <laughs> Should not be getting that close to me. <laughs> Focus on the puss cats instead. Oh, what a miserable, miserable day. The forecast did say it was meant to be vile. And I'm meant to be show jumping tomorrow. And it's looking bad all weekend. Ah. So definitely a duvet day for me today. It's not cold. So the ponies are out. Um, it looks like the cats are quite content staying in here, doesn't it? Hey? Hey? Not doing a very good job of showing our winter routine, just sat here doing nothing, am I, Reg? But, oh, but that is nice, Mum. I'm going to move, though, because I just spotted Dinks about to do his trick. Oh, he's done it already. He does it in one foul swoop now. He comes to check whether Banksy's bowl's empty. He literally puts his little snozzle under here, don't you? Give it one tap and whoosh, it's down. Short enough for you to fit your snozzle in. Oh, I'm glad they came over because you've got weepy eye. Oh, I didn't spot. Oh, not on camera. I didn't spot that, did I? Give it a proper bathe later. They're nice. Making sure every last bit is gone. Me? Hey? Oh, look, 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 look. You have to be involved, don't you? Have to be right there. I don't think you want to go in there, Reg. It's wet. Cats don't like water, all right? So I might. I might. I don't want to miss out. No, I don't think you want to be in singing nettles either. Let's take you in. Give you your breakfast. Come on. Woohoo! Come on, Mum, Mum. You want your breakfast? Good girl. Whee! Don't get her, Reggie. He's been a bit of a bully to his mummy at the minute, aren't you? 
She is flying! Flying, clever clogs! I'm happy. Back to bed for an hour for me, otherwise I will be out here <laughs> for ages. I generally do all my chores throughout the day. <laughs> I will admit I'm not a morning mucker outer. Um again. Miniature Shetland, super duper easy to muck out. And my lovely clean Banksy Boo. Again, super easy. Although yes, yeah, it is starting to look like the wet's come through, so I will have to take some wet out today. I haven't done that for a couple of weeks, so. All good in the hood. Shut up, lock up, and see ya in a few hours. Lash lazy morning lion. And now, done a few chores as well around the house. Um, all right, is your garage leaking? I just saw loads of water behind the Porsche. It's been raining really, really heavy. Um, and I think that actually this end stable is leaking slightly too because I noticed a patch back there, but I think I was going to get Rob to have a look, but I think his garage might be priority at the moment. So yeah, just come to muck out, do the yard chores and then hope that the forecast is right and that it is easing off a little bit this afternoon so that I can time taking banks out in slightly less rain. It has brightened up a little bit. It's not quite so doomy and gloomy. However, it is still raining. Just not quite as torrentiously, torren horrendously, horrendously, torrentially, torrench, torrentially. That's the one. I'm struggling with my words today. And I'm back on the camera, folks, because I've just been editing what I filmed this morning and I was shocked at how bad the quality was on my phone. Really? Excuse me? Excuse me? What are you doing? Does this zoom? I've never zoomed on this. It does. What are you doing getting extra mucky before we ride? Hey? Nice. Oh, now you're coming closer, we don't need the zoom. Very, very, oh, look at that neck, Banks. That's delightful. It's like, wow, you did turn me out with no neck cover. I can walk backwards now, you zoomed in too much. Hiya. You okay? You wanna go riding? I'm gonna get my chores done first. I am, yeah. Thanks for that though, that's really nice. This guy's as well was clipped less than two, no, just over two weeks ago. Two weeks, Wednesday just gone. And he's a hairy, hairy boy again already, aren't you? I mean, obviously it would help if I did put a neck cover on, but it's just been so warm still. Although it's rainy, it's very, very mild. Isn't it? Yes. Oh, oh, oh you mucky, mucky boy. Right, let me get on with my chores, boo.
care what people say, people say, people say. Subscribe and I Okay, on to table number two. And I thought I would just recap quickly. I got hot, I had to take my headband off. In fact, I might have to strip off out of this in a minute. Whew, it is warm. It's wet, but muggy. Um, I thought I'd reiterate quickly what I use. I always use this for some reason in Dinks' table. I think just because his poos are so small and light and I generally just fill one of those up, mucking out his stable. Primarily in Banksy's, I always use this wave fork. It's years old, they're no longer available, so sorry, you cannot get them anymore. They used to be on Amazon, but I don't think they are even on there anymore. So yeah, shout out, they are amazing by Noble Outfitters, but no longer made, unfortunately. Um, but they are, were advertised at the time years ago to be indestructible and I can vouch for the fact that they are because this one is still going strong. So primarily I generally always use that to mark out Banksy's stable. However, occasionally if it's late evening I will do one or two with that. It's just actually, to be honest, he normally does do his poos all in one pile over there and then it ends up being far too heavy and big put in that and then also if there are poops scattered around a bit if he's been a bit of a mischievous boy and been running around in his stable I just grab them with a glove <laughs> it's a little bit of wet out <laughs> Okay, change of plan. It's actually quite a bit wetter than I thought, and that is because I didn't make the bed deep enough when I put the bed down a couple of weeks ago. So, change of plan. Gonna take it, put it all up, bank it up, let it dry out, and then put probably what two in, but probably four more bales down once I get back from riding. Hey guys, before I ride quickly, <sighs> Reg, you are going to get hurt one day. Um, I want you to finish the sentence for me whilst I go riding. Comment below with, you know it's officially winter when, and I'll go first. And you can't just say when the horses are in overnight because that's an obvious one. Um, can't get the stirrup on one handed. I'm going with, you know it's officially winter when. There's no point even attempting to groom before riding because it's sopping wet and there is no way on this earth that is coming off with any type of brush. I've also just realised it's 10 to 3. I thought it was around lunchtime. My lazy lion was a lot longer than I thought it was and um, I was hoping to get this vlog out tonight. Not sure. I see, oh, very dark in here. That's better. Yeah, not sure I see that happening, but I will still give it my best shot. If I have managed to get this live on Saturday night, please make sure you give it a like. It would be very much appreciated. Ugh, you are filthy banks. I just spotted an OC cat go through the hedge there. Hopefully she stays in there and doesn't come back out again because I do not like her being in the lane. Anyway, phone going in pocket, you do not need to see this filthiness. Oh, but doesn't my arena look fab? I need to get back out, the grass needs cutting actually. Oh, I've got poles down too. Wah! I just wanted to come on whilst riding guys and thank you all for all being so lovely. Cause honestly, I, it feels so weird. I know I have said it before, um, 
that I feel like this sometimes, but it's very, very rare, especially recently. Um, so it's hard to sometimes understand why you feel like this, especially when you've got so much good in your life. You then in turn also feel guilty for feeling like this, which doesn't make any sense at all, I know. But I wanted to thank you all for being so lovely and supportive. And for if you've got to this stage in this vlog, um, especially if you are new here, I apologise. Like, my vlogs are not normally like this. They're normally much more bubbly and cheery and thought out and, yeah, happy and jolly. Um, but I just needed to do this today. I needed to make myself pick my camera up because otherwise it could end up being absolutely blinking ages before I did again. Um, I don't even know really why I'm doing this now. Uh, just because I felt bad. I was like, oh, do I just delete what I've already taken this morning? Um, and also then I thought I'm making this a winter routine just because I couldn't really think of any ideas of stuff to do. And, oh gosh, it's windy. You're probably not even going to be able to hear um, I'm not actually going to show you, like, the evening part of my routine because I'm going to need to be inside editing this if I do want it to go live tonight. Which is what I want to do. I need to do it because, like I say, otherwise I'll just end up not vlogging. And I understand that lots of you will probably say, if you need a break, take a break. Um, but equally, I don't want to do that. I do enjoy doing it. It's just for some reason, hormones... The moon, the weather, the chain, I don't know, but for some reason these last seven to ten days have just felt horrible. Just haven't felt like myself. Anyway, I think you get that message. I think I should stop bleating on about it. I just wanted to thank you all for your support. I feel like I'm covered in stuff, but I'm not. Um, it feels nice to be out on my boy, even though he is filthy dirty. I'm going to go back, make him a nice deep bed. Put him in for a bit because obviously he is going to be too hot to be rugged up and turned back out. Um, then I'm going to bath him because we are going show jumping tomorrow. I'm going to try and fit this in and edit it. No, I can bath him in the morning. That's true. I can bath him in the morning. Um, so yeah, I'm not really showing a true accurate representation of my winter routine because he'll be coming in a lot earlier than he normally would. However, I guess every day is slight. All right, it's a tiny little boulder. Every day is slightly different. And that's the same for all horsey people, I think. Unless you're on a... No, he's like, this is a canter bath, mum. Oh no. Oh no. Right, we don't need to canter, babe. No, we don't. We don't. Good boy. Thank you. We don't need to canter. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, over and out. <laughs> I'll finish the end of the vlog when I get back. Show you his nice clean stable. Show you his lovely Silvermore Haylage. And yeah, give Dinks a snuggle. Feed the kitty cats and hopefully have a lovely time show jumping tomorrow and be a lot more positive and enthusiastic about vlogging because currently I just feel like my words are not coming out how they should which is weird and not a nice feeling um anyway I'll stop talking about it now Ugh. Ugh. how was that for good timing of getting back bangs we didn't get wet did we it started raining just as we got back into the yard Nice little ride, didn't go far. Conserving both of our energies for tomorrow. <laughs> Might regret saying that. Um, so yeah, get his bed down. Get them some haylage. Not that you need much for your porky belly, do you? But I feed both boys the Timothy, which is good because it's like a lower calorific one. Oh, actually, <laughs> best untack him before talking about that. Um, it's all over here. Lower calorific Silvermore haylage. I've got the Timothy and I've got the light um, and it's nice because it's quite dry it means that Banksy doesn't get the runs he's a bit of a sensitive tummy boy when it comes to haylage um, and yeah it does it does get a bit yucky when he's permanently on that as opposed to I was just seeing if OC was up there that's where she had her babies I think and that's where she likes to snooze if she's not in the end stable get this done get inside edit what i've done and thank you all for being so lovely because yeah i don't even know if i'm going to call this my winter routine now because there's no oh look oh look oh look hi were you just snoozing there whilst i was out riding was you yeah maybe we won't call it a winter routine i don't know what i'm going to call it um but i'm glad i've done it i'm glad i've got my bum and gear and actually vlogged um yeah i might just end it here actually 
because I don't know how interesting this has been. Let's have a cat cuddle. Oh no, I need to untap my horse. See, I told you my brain is literally all over the place at the moment. I don't know why. Hi, should we get you untacked and get a nice deep bed put down for you? That's what we need to do, not get distracted by kittens. Ooh, a bit Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. We like to restrict how quickly you eat it. However, it's a bit early for you to have your hay net yet, so I can pop that in for you later. Hi. Oh, yummy. All right, let's get your bed down. Mm, yum. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.